I'm never coming back here again. You ever feel that way? You ever make a decision in life? You finally, you finally had enough? Because that's it. I'm done. I'm never coming back here again. I'll tell you that much. Back in the days of the grandfathers, when I was a younger man, things were different then. We had, we, we had a code of honor. Generation X in the 80s, it wasn't like it is today. Your relationships were sacred and important. And you had to have honor even when breaking up with somebody. And I was a hopeless romantic and a sap and I didn't, I couldn't understand when people, <laughs> I wasn't the brightest uh, star in the sky or whatever you want to call it. I wasn't the sharpest tool. Here's the story. I had a girlfriend once in my life, twice in my life probably. But when I was in college, I had a girlfriend for th over three years. And, you know, I loved her, but she wasn't a very good girlfriend, you know. She immediately cut her hair short. She never dressed up or put on makeup or anything, which I appreciate now. I hate all this fake eyelashes and stuff, but you know, she was a she didn't try very hard unless she was trying to get with somebody else. You know, cheated on me. And then left me in the end. When she graduated from college, she went off to grad school. And she never, she didn't even give me the decency of breaking up with me. You know, it just kind of, she just went away. So she left for grad school in the fall. So that's like, what is that, September? And by Thanksgiving, November, I finally go, you know what? I'm going to break up with my girlfriend. This is no way to have a relationship. What with her sleeping with other guys and then moving to an entirely different state and city <laughs> and getting a new boyfriend. I'm going to break up with her, but I have to do this in person. So I booked a train ticket from Fargo, North Dakota through Chicago, all the way down to South Bend, Indiana. Just a disgusting town. She went to Notre Dame College. It was just this gross, preppy college. You know. But one thing I realized, I didn't think of until I got down there. We, we planned a, a weekend. I got down there on a Thursday, or maybe it was a Wednesday. It must have been a Wednesday. Then Thursday was Thanksgiving. And then Friday, I was planning on coming back. Well, when do you break up with your girlfriend? I had all of $20 in my pocket. Spent everything I had on the bus ticket or the train ticket. And I get down there and immediately, you know, <laughs> I won't give you the details, but we're back on. We're boyfriend and girlfriend that once. And I go, well, you can't break up with her the first night. That's going to be awkward. So then Thanksgiving comes and, you know, she invites her new friends over. The guy later on I found out was her current boyfriend. He you know, <laughs> was tolerating me being there. But, uh, you know, I couldn't do it that day. And then Friday comes, we wake up early and we're late to get to the train. We drive to the train station. And I just get on in time and I turn around She's crying and smiling and saying she loves me. And I go, ah, crap, I never broke up with her. I, I did all this, and it was terrible, by the way. I had a horrible time when I was down there. I got, I sat down, and I went, well, okay. That was stupid. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I guess I'm going to have to call her when I get home and break up with her. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think she's going to mind but uh, I said to myself, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know this much. I'm never coming back here again. 
And then I wrote this song, Never Coming Back Here Again. Miigwech, ga bizendawieg. Thank you for listening.
Buju. If you'd like to support the show, click the links in the description box. We have a Patreon page. You can sign up to uh, support us a little bit every month. And we'll send you a book. If you're with us for a couple of months, we'll send you a coffee mug. And there's all kinds of stuff. But you can also leave us a tip at PayPal or Patreon. And if you'd like to order books that I've uh, written and illustrated, comic books, coloring books, Ojibwe language books, I have a whole page on Amazon.com. So click the links in the description. If you like the show, give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for notifications. And miigwech ka bizen dawieg. Thank you for listening. My name is Michael Lyons, and I will see you again. Giga waba min. Mino wa. That's probably good enough.